Well, how's it going? Whoa. Um, gosh. Um, one sec. Well, wasn't a good start. Well, maybe I should do this just a little bit simpler. Well, g'day everyone, my name's Dave and I'm so glad you decided to spend two minutes with me. Well, today we're gonna to be talking about fencing and corners and to, did I say fences or fencing? Well, today we're gonna to be talking about fences and cornings and uh, fences and, why is this, why is this so hard to say? Fences and corning, corners, corners. Well, today we are gonna be talking about fences and corners. So let's put two minutes up on the clock and let's do this. Did you know that in the time of the Bible, your neighbors could tell how much faith you had simply by looking over your fence? That's right, everyone in town could see how spiritually mature you were simply by looking over into your yard. I don't know what you'd see if you looked out in my backyard, probably some cushions strewn all over the place, maybe some uncut grass. Actually, I think there's a ball out there, which is weird because we don't play ball. In the book of Leviticus, God told his people to leave the corners of their field uncut at harvest so that the poor could come in and pick up the leftover grain. So what this meant was the people who were really generous had really large corners in their yard because they had faith that God would provide for them as they continued to be generous. Meanwhile, the people who didn't believe that God could look after them, they had really small corners on their land because, you know, they were harvesting right to the edges and trying to get gather as much as they could. So they really didn't leave much left over for the people who were in need. You might say that these people were stingy. What's another word for stingy? Ungenerous? That's not a word. Selfish. Selfish, yeah. They were selfish. So that meant that everybody could tell how generous you were and how much faith you had in God simply by the size of your corners. Which leads us to the question of the day. What would we see if we looked over your fence? Are your corners big because you have faith that God will provide? Or are your corners small because you're not really sure? How big are the corners of your land? Well, that's it for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Maybe leave me a comment and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. Maybe share it with a friend and you can even follow me on Instagram at Aussie Day. While you do all of that, I'll see you next time.